Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. Long time no see. <laughs> I didn't want to take a break. The problem is I had to. I was just a bit overworked with work as well as YouTube, so I took a break. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are not new here and you haven't seen my upload schedule change, I will now only be uploading on Mondays and then shorts basically on Wednesdays. If I feel like I want to upload on a Thursday, I will. Um, that's basically just for videos that I feel like they can go up. Um, but I don't want to force myself to do a two-week upload schedule when I'm starting to feel overworked again. But anyway, <laughs> with that being said, let's talk about my August TBR. I have a few orgs that are due in August. The one is due on the 1st of August and I'm kind of panicking about that one because I'm not very far into it. But anyway, my first priority would be uh, the book club pick that I'm part of or the book club that I'm part of the pick of that one. Yes. And it is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I don't know a lot about this book. All I know is about Jeanette talking about things that happened on Nickelodeon as well as how her mom exploited her or basically abused her while she was a child actress. And yeah, it it, it sounds like a heavy read and I think I'm going to push to get that out of the way quickly so that I can settle. I don't I don't know. I have this tendency to read book club books two days before the, the book club meets. So, but luckily I have the audio with me so I can just crash, fly through that one, not crash through it. That would be disastrous. And then I also have a buddy read every month with my bestie. And this month, I think we are reading The Eternal Shadow by this person. I am not going to try and pronounce this surname because I am pretty sure I will butcher it. But anyway, this is a South African author. And it's basically a dystopian story about this girl who lost her friend at an early age. They were out at a party and he went swimming and then he drowned, basically, and they could never find him. Fast forward five years later, she's trying to help her sister cope with some internal issues that are happening in her body. But no tests have come up to show them that there is something wrong with her. So she feels there is an underlying issue, but nobody can tell her what. Her mom is also very blase about everything. Well, she's like, oh, she's in pain, whatever. Not to say that she's a bad mom, it's just that her mom's a nurse, so she's very busy. And so she's also a nurse, but she has taken on the parental role between her and her sister. It's basically just the journey of her discovering a new world where she learns the secrets of why her sister is acting the way she is and why she is in so much pain. Now we move on to the orcs that are due in August because I went on a requesting spree again. <laughs> this is every year, July, August, I get this inkling to just go on every request spree and just ask, can I get this book? Can I get this book? But this one is not my fault. It was just sent to me. <laughs> and it is Love Changes Everything by Samir Ramdad. This is another South African author and this is the sequel to The Journey of Love. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but you taking a breath is, is hard. Anyway, this is the second book in the Hexagon series. And this follows a girl who I think she is married off to a nobleman because his finances are in disarray. And so she marries him so that he can have more money. There's an arrangement between his parents and her parents or something like that. I assume these two are eventually going to fall in love despite their differences. And I'm sure it'll fly by fast. I also got these cute things with it because it was a PO box and um, I got this coloring thing that I still haven't touched. <laughs> I'm too scared to color in because I know I won't like it. And then the end pages look like this which is cool. Please ignore the ribbon. <laughs> and then we also got this um, bookmark which is pretty cool. It says Golden Goddess. I'm sorry you just saw <laughs> my ring light. Anyway so yeah quite excited for this one. We'll see how it goes. The next one which is actually due on the 1st of August and I need to crank down on it but you know there's just something in me right now that I'm like eh. <laughs> I don't want to read. The problem is it has to be due on the 1st of August and it's a high fantasy story. But anyway the book is The Daughter of the Drowned Empire by Frankie Diane Mills and this is about a girl who essentially watches her cousin being taken for execution because she possesses dog magic, dog magic that is actually forbidden in the kingdom. 
and the kingdom is being ruled by this tyrant monarch because he believes he is the end all and be all he believes he saved people after a certain empire drowned while her cousin is being executed her two other sisters or her two elder sisters are kept in secret because they also possess these powers so their father usually has this swearing of oath where they are not allowed to talk to anyone because of this because the sisters will be executed if someone finds out that they possess this forbidden magic and to top it all off our main character is dating the person who usually hunts these people who possess the dog powers and I'm just like this is a mess on its own <laughs> but anyway so I don't know a lot about this book I'm only 14% into it and I didn't want to read the whole synopsis for fear of spoiling it for me but the synopsis does say that when our main character is going to display her powers her powers are so bad that she might not even be executed she might be banished from the empire which i feel like killing is worse than being banished <laughs> okay anyway so yeah uh need to make a dent in that one and then the next one is medici heist i forgot who wrote that this is basically in short simple sweet sentences it's about a found family in the 1570s basically this con woman is following a medici pope because he is extorting the people of florence and she's like no no this isn't going to happen so they concoct a heist she and a few other bandits concoct a heist to basically exploit this pope and show that he has been using Florence money for his own betterment instead of for the people. The next one is Love and Other Things. I should really look up the author's names. Anyway, this is basically about a girl who goes back to her hometown for her father's funeral with the intention of leaving directly afterwards because she doesn't want to be in that town there's a reason why she's fleeing but then she meets her childhood not her crush but they were like together they shared kisses they shared dreams all of their things and he stayed in that town and she fled and they slowly but surely you know get to know each other i think this is before the funeral and she realizes that she might still be in love with him but there's also a chance that she still has to flee because it lo it sounds like she's running away from someone and there's the question of can she confide in him or will she just up and leave and then the last arc is when the sky falls and every time i read that my brain goes to adele's song when the sky falls and i'm just like anyway so this is a dystopian novel of a girl who takes her baby sister to this shelter so that they can run away from a crumbling city with clouds that are like rather toxic for the people so 17 years later i believe she is married to this wonderful person but she keeps the secret lockdown that her father was the one who actually caused this toxic cloud and how they are going to I don't know, navigate through this whole situation i think it's not why a dystopian i just think it's dystopian and then the last thing that i want to say is um i'm also taking part in the readathon readathon which is hosted by donna over at mom's book collection and manda from manda the biblia if you have been on this channel for a while you would know i usually partake in the readathon readathon which is basically a readathon aimed at sending out your tbr and i plan to use that to my advantage this time usually i chuck in a few new releases in as well but no this time i really really have to thin out my tbr um so the first prompt is to read a book based on the colors of your last read and my last read was my turkish fling by any amanda and it's basically just a purple color i struggled so much finding a purple book like i could have gone with books on my kindle as well but i wasn't thinking of that i was like a physical <laughs> we need to focus on physical and for that i landed on four because this is basically the only book that i've seen that is kind of purple but actually it is the only book that is purple in my bookcase unless you count where is it one of these game of thrones books also has purple in but i think it's the third book and i've only read the first book so i don't want to jump you know that kind of thing so i'm gonna stick with four this is also my 24 books to read for 2024 so two birds with one stone the next prompt is to read a short book i'm gonna go with everything everything by nicola yoon i think this is a ya story about a girl who the air that she breathes like the air around us she can't breathe because it's toxic to her if i remember correctly yeah she's allergic to the world so she's in this confined space and then someone new moves across not the road but a 
from the house next door and these two cook up a romance like that and here i believe this is also a movie but i haven't watched the movie um but i think this is going to be very quick because there's like drawings and stuff in here as well and the chapters look short so this is for my shelf destruct books yeah the next prompt is to read a book with a great sit first sentence and the competitors are when the moon hatched medicine heist and a state of sorrow so um <laughs> why i want to add more books to it i don't know let's quickly go to when the moon hatched please give it a while waiting to download download it yeah okay so uh the first one is the first sentence wow there's a wow <laughs> the glossary is so long okay that is pretty interesting the first sentence is the world began with five okay so we got that one and then medici heist quickly go to m go I put Medici Heist on the list because I'm anyway going to read it. So why not just fill it in into the, fill it in, put it in one of the prompts. This first sentence says Florence 15, 17. The mud was from the banks of the Orno River. I mean, I'm leaning towards, uh, what do you call it? When the moon hatched because that was, that was a pretty cool intro. And then State of Sorrow is on my shelf to strike. TDR. The humpback bridge had stood for almost a millennium, the sole link between the nations of Renan and Ryla. <laughs> Did I just make it work for, worse for myself? I'm gonna go with State of Sorrow. Yeah. Because when the moon hatched is also part of another vlog that I'm trying. So I don't want to incorporate that vlog. Yeah, it's a whole thing. So it's a good thing that when the moon hatch didn't succeed. It didn't work. The next prompt is finish or catch up on a series that I'm going to use the internal shadow, e eternal shadow. Read a book with like in the title. Let me tell you now, out of the 200 books I have on my physical TBR, as well as the probably 300 I have on my <laughs> Kindle, I did not find a book with the word like in it. I was searching high and low. Eventually, I went to Kindle Unlimited and I just typed in like, and that's where we, we, we got it. So there is Like It Never Was, which is a thriller of a woman who caused an accident between her and her best friend, but she never told her best friend and her best friend almost died. And then years later, um, she's still fighting with the guilt. It sounds like she reunited with the best friend and the best friend also has like recollection issues. And then the more they talk, the more the almost dead best friend realizes that this woman is hiding something from her. So it's that one or like the movies or something like the movies from Lynn Painter. I'm going to go with like it never was. Yeah, because I like a good thriller sometimes. And there's no thriller in my... TV or basically for this month. We sorted in that front. The sixth prompt is to read a book with LGBTQIA plus rape. I don't think I have a book that has that from what I can think at the top of my head. So maybe um, I'll link it with another prompt that I have because I know one of the, the characters in the book that I want to read is non-binary. I think could be wrong i can't remember correctly the next prompt is to roll a die and if you land on equal numbers you read the newest book in your collection and if you land on unequal numbers you read the book in your well, you read the oldest book in your collection so we're gonna go with die roll no no wait this is a D, &D die <laughs> whoops okay um uh, so it generated on two let me just can I roll? Oh, it's two again. That's boo. Anyway, um, newest. <laughs> no, I've got to think now. This newest book in my collection. I kind of read that one, those ones, because that would be Funny Story and Reckless. I don't know. Why didn't I look at this beforehand? Um, okay, let's check the side. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, hello. Maybe I should check on Script, the book I recently added to my saved collection. And then I can read that because this is gonna take a while if I just sit and look at this. Okay, I finished that one, finished that one. You okay. The Cursed by Harper L. Woods. I really hope, oh my word, this is a series. I don't particularly want to add more series to my collection. How about a novel love story by Ashley Poston? Let's go with that one. I'm going to add a novel love story by Ashley Poston, even though I've heard mixed reviews about this series. <laughs> oh, the book. Um, 
we'll see how that goes but basically if you're not sure what it is about it's about this woman who is going to hold a annual book club i believe with her friends and while she's on her way towards this area where they are going to host the book club she starts driving into a town and she sees like everything around her seems familiar and then she realizes that she is in her beloved book like basically she's she was sucked into her beloved book so yeah sounds like a very interesting romance i don't know we'll see oh and then she falls in love obviously with a grumpy guy <laughs> it kind of gives me what is it, gilmore girls vibes don't ask me why anyway the next one is a book you thrifted or borrowed and for that i'm going to go with the social life i've spoken about this for a while now this is uh basically about a socialite girl who falls in love i think with something to do with a soldier in the nazis or a nazi occupied paris i don't know i can't remember i do have the audio for this one this is also a book that i bought for like 50 rand at a warehouse sale so might as well just add it and then it says pick a book based on its cover i think i'm gonna go with medici heist because i added that or i requested that on netgalley because i really love the cover <laughs> it kind of gave me spitting gold vibes as well so that's why i requested it i thought it was kind of in the same vibes it doesn't look like it is but anyway the next one is read a poll pick i have put a poll on the discord but and everything is still equal like uh the books that i requested for them to pick a poll on is still equal so I'll wait. Eventually, I'll tell you which one won. That would be in the reading vlogs. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to do reading vlogs. <laughs> Book in your least read format. I don't particularly read manga or what's the other thing? Uh, graphic novels and such. So because for the last readathon, readathon, I read Die Volume 1, I'm going to jump into Die Volume 2. And this is basically about a group of kids who were playing like this RPG kind of game and then they were sucked into this game. And 12 years later, they popped out of the game again. And some of them have severe PTSD. One is without an arm. And now there is this thing going on that they have to go back because there's a mystery that they have to solve regarding this whole world. And it's very interesting. It's interesting to read on your phone as well because I don't have the, the physical with me. But it's, it's a very cool graphic novel and I'm really enjoying it. And then the last prompt is a book you haven't heard anyone talk about. I think I can choose any of the orcs that I mentioned. Or maybe uh, Love Changes Everything because it's a South African author. Not a lot of people know about that. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. But with that being said, that is the end of this video if you stuck around until now please remember to like and subscribe thank you for those of you who have recently subscribed and those of you who have stayed subscribed during my flunky <laughs> uploading schedule and yeah i'll see you guys in a video next week bye